Welcome back everyone. Today we will be editing this image in Retouch Pro Photoshop panel. Please note that this is my personal approach to editing this photo, but feel free to follow along. If you have your own preferred workflow, just have an open mind and I hope that you will pick up something new from this tutorial. So without further ado, let's get started. So today we will use another skin retouching technique called frequency separation. There are multiple ways to execute this but they all work just the same. Basically, we just have to separate the skin tones, which is the low frequency, and the skin texture, which is the high frequency. Let's go ahead and click the frequency separation function. Then we expand the layer. As you can see, it has separated the skin tones from the skin texture. Let's temporarily hide the high frequency layer. Then click on the low frequency layer and select the blur tool. Make sure that the mode is set to normal and the strength at 100%. Then we start brushing on the skin until all the colors blend seamlessly. One pro tip. There is a faster way to do this. First, let's convert the low frequency layer to a smart filter so that we can modify it non-destructively. And we can go back if you want to make some changes. And then we go back to Filter, Blur, and select Surface Blur. Then we carefully adjust the radius and threshold values to a point that the skin colors blend well, like so. Then click OK. Now we can unhide the high frequency layer. Select the clone stamp tool. Set the opacity to 100% and set the sample to current layer. Now hold down the Alt key, then left click on the mouse to take a skin sample. Then paint on the blemish or dark spot that you want to remove, like so. Again, hold Alt, take a sample, then brush. Repeat the process as necessary until you are satisfied with removing all the distracting blemishes. Alright, done. This is the frequency separation function in Retouch Pro. What do you think? Were you able to follow along? If you have questions, feel free to comment down below. This is the original image. And this is with frequency separation. Before. After. Let's zoom in. Before. After. I'm quite happy with the result. Now let's try another Retouch Pro function which is White Teeth. Then select the mask, click on the brush tool, make sure that the foreground color is set to white. Then we start painting on the teeth. Okay, that should do it. The effect is too strong, so let's decrease the opacity to 40%. Before, after. Okay, that looks better. Now I want to add color to her lips. But before we do that, Let's create a merged visible layer by pressing Ctrl, Alt, Shift, and the letter E. This will merge all the layers and create a single layer on top. Let's zoom in. As you can see, 
we need to fix these areas where the lipstick was removed. To do this, select the top layer, click on the clone stamp tool, hold the alt key to take a sample, then paint on the area that needs to be fixed. This may take a couple of tries, so be patient. Alright, now her lips are looking good. We're now ready to add lipstick. Let's open the Retouch Pro panel, go to the Lips and Teeth section, and click on Add Lipstick. Let's unhide this color for now, then click on the mask, select the brush tool, Make sure that the color is set to white. Then we start painting on her lips. It's okay if you make some spills. Just toggle the brush color to black. Then paint on the spills to erase it. Now let's keep painting on the lips. For the sake of this demo, I'm just doing this quickly. But when you're doing this on your own, take your time and be as accurate as possible. This is without lipstick, with lipstick. Let's decrease the opacity to about 80%. And let's pick another color. Alright, so let's go with soft pink. This is the before, after. What do you think guys? Are you liking my edit? Again, if you have questions, feel free to comment down below. Now to make sure that we've painted the lips properly, select the mask, hold the Alt key, and click on the mask. Then just switch between the white and black brush to do some fine tuning. And to go back, just hold Alt again and click on the mask. Before, after. Now that looks good, don't you think? Let's group all the effects together and have a look at the overall changes. Select all the layers and then click Ctrl G. This is the original image, and this is the Retouch Pro Edit. Let's zoom in. Before, after. If you want more tutorials like this, or if you have a particular function that you want to ask, just comment down below and I'll get back to you. And if you found this video helpful, please click on the like button as it helps out the channel a lot. Subscribe to see more videos and click on the bell icon to turn on notifications. Thank you for watching.